we were just at our first possible church venue. Mm -hmm. Harbaugh Church. Harbaugh Church. Harbaugh. Right? Yeah. Close to Mason Dixon in Waynesboro. So what are your thoughts? It's a beautiful old church. Um, yeah, they don't make churches like that anymore. Yeah. Crows, it is really pretty. Yeah. Like, like traditionally pretty. Stained glass is beautiful. The brick is beautiful. Yep. The place, like, the landscape is really pretty. Yes. Um, cons, no air. There are definitely some cons. It doesn't have air conditioning, so if you want to do, hopefully, July wedding, that probably will not work. Yeah. Doesn't have That's a bathroom. No so, no you water. probably have to rent some sort of porta potty or something just in case for emergency. It's not that, I mean, I don't think our ceremony would be crazy long. Mm -hmm. um, parking is a little iffy because it's almost like cemetery parking because there's a um, cemetery behind it. Right. Um, Pro. All my, del my dead relatives to see. Yeah, the <laughs> Ben's side of the family is a lot of them are buried there. Um, which is very cool. Um, yeah, I really like it. Like, honestly, like, would be perfect if it wasn't for the logistics stuff. Like, yeah. It would be such a no-brainer if it Hi made there. sense. Because I do think it would fit everybody we need to. If we did some quick calculating, yeah. and we think it would fit about 125 people, which I think would be plenty for us. Yeah. Again, I wish, I, I just wish that there was a perfect solution because... If it had some of those conveniences, it would be no brainer. Because I just love the traditionalness of yes. a little chapel like that, or like a little church. I don't know. How about we not slam on the gas? <laughs> just um, I don't know. Like he was saying about that draft, like open up the doors, but if it was July, it would be like just hot air and yep. more hot air. Stifling. And if you shove it, then it's just going to be stuffy. So. Yeah, so probably a no. Probably. But I'm really sad about it. It could be like a... Because I would love, like, that is literally what my vision is. Yeah. The vision is, like, just traditional. Very. Old-timey, like... It's got the history for me. Before God and our family. So we don't have any other visits on the horizon as of now. Today's yeah. September 17th, Saturday. But I suppose we'll continue to look. We're back. We just looked at our second, second possible church reception Re venue. No ceremony, ceremony venue. venue. Um, at the Lutheran Seminary Chapel in Gettysburg. Um, what are your initial reactions? I mean, you know me, the history buff. I love it just because of all the. Civil War history here, and it's really pretty too. Yeah, and it's big. It's I like the pews. Yes, everything's very linear, which I like. Yeah, in there, it is gorgeous. Like it is one of the most beautiful churches I feel like I've ever been inside. There are like yeah. little co like cosmetic things that I would, like. There are weird paintings hanging <laughs> down the sides of the like down the walls. Yeah, I think that's probably just like a installation that probably happened. So, yeah, they probably had some like showing said or that something that happened like that. in the last year. Yeah. And just like little shelves and like carts of books that are just like sitting around that I would definitely not want in like the actual place. Yeah, or, like we'll little tables Make sure that's stuff. out of sight, out of mind. Um, same thing with like the vestibule where you first walk in, just like there's just stuff sitting Right, but, and, and like, she's, I mean, she, well, she said there's like a staff member there or whatever, but it's basically ours for the day. Yeah, you know? so, I mean, obviously I would not change anything. I wonder actual, if we could get, but, like, um, or, like, get access to, like, those letters. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, like, I'm sure. So, yeah, like, put, like, a, a Weber yeah, wedding. Yeah, like, or, a lettering up front. Yeah. Letter cool. board. Um, my only thing is, it the, is the size, like, <laughs> the number of people that we have, would it feel too big? 
like the seat was like would it feel half empty <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah that's true i feel like you think of 150 people to invite and that feels like a lot but it'll turn out to be probably 100 people right and that place i think she said seats like 400, 400 yeah. which is like great but would it feel like nobody's there you know what, what i mean yeah that's true yeah it's just like hey like everybody's yeah. just jammed in there i get well if you if people spread out i don't think people just like jam like in and like just feel like three rows i feel like it spread out at least i guess and would you, we could just like literally just cut off like the back rows and so only people could sit yeah. in like rows one through 15 or whatever instead of one through 20 or however many rows are there just like yeah. don't give people access to like the bottom bottom rows like just see people way up starting at the front working back yeah it wouldn't be it wouldn't feel empty then just because like and everybody I also don't know there. about the music i mean i guess you'd have to do that in any church like unless we know somebody that can play the, the organ yeah i mean she said people will play it for us but i don't know how like there's an organ and i mean if we do end up going with a band like maybe they could start here and set up and then go do but that. i don't know like how the sound system would i mean work. they're at my church there's an organ player maybe like it's an actual organ and everything so yeah. i know they don't have an organ at your church right no no just piano. No, just piano so there's an actual organ player at the methodist church which maybe right. we could rent her out just and that's for the thing like, like kyle plays minutes. the organ but he already said no so he wouldn't do it yeah <laughs> um anyway i don't know there's a lot of cool things there and i just feel like it does seem like a very like reverent like i love the pillars place to have like a ceremony and she said those cool bells can <laughs> chime up like here comes the or whatever it is no. here comes the bread <laughs> and how cool would it be if like you know how in the movies you they always like have the people outside of the church like lined up to like receive you as you leave how oh yeah no rice be? though did you I see know, that yeah, I I yeah no rice that. birds but. are exploding <laughs> so yeah i think it's really promising i think we'll probably put the paperwork in because she said it doesn't hurt to do that you don't have to pay anything till like three weeks before yeah higher. um just Unless, to reserve the date and like even if you back out there's nothing like it's no skin off their right, nose. Right, let's so. get it in hold. Let's yeah, hold I think it we'll so do that. It just it has to do it. Like we just, then we just have to figure out some place nearby for a reception area. That right. would be good. So, which even I mean, we so could. So you we could like this just... place? You can envision us getting married there for sure. You yeah. want to get married there? Yeah. We've only been to two places, and there aren't really other options. So. <laughs> so it's number one. Uh, let's go. <laughs> completed our hunt for wedding venues. Where do we go today, Benjamin? The Hauser Hill Event Center. Hauser Hill Event Center. Mm -hmm. It used to be a winery, but I believe it changed hands according to my family. Yeah. And so I don't know that they do as much winery stuff now as they do events. So they have basically what like the outdoor tenty area that I was envisioning. And it just seems really like upscale, really nice. It's on a hill. It has a beautiful view, like for miles. The view is like the selling point. Oh yeah, Easily. for sure. Um, we also looked. They had like a guest house that they offer up just for the day to get ready. I don't know that we're gonna do that or not, but There's they also cool have outside. that available. Yeah, really unique. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> unique the investment yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, but they just have some really like good options for us. So, I think that's the place we're going to go with. I think so. And they have our date available. Yep, it's 
12 minutes from where we want to have the ceremony. It's 12 minutes from the chapel, which you've mm -hmm. already seen too. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully that will be our day, Day chapel. Enough. And then, yeah, we filmed a video about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But I've got to live in the, I gotta live in the past and the future. Yeah, with, it's yeah. all in one. It's all in like five minutes in this. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, that happened weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't visit too many places. I guess only three. But mm -hmm. I think we've got to figure it out. Yeah, I think so too. I like it. I like that spot. We're going to get married. Yeah, it's going to be really... I think it's going to oh, be really Oh, we're definitely going to get married. Yeah. We're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video, this wedding update. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And what's the other thing? Comment? Follow. Like and subscribe? I don't know, that's just it. Like and subscribe. I thought there was one more, but maybe not. We hope you have a great week, and we'll see you real soon. soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>